welcome to the second part of the uh, Ransel indoor walk testing demo. Uh, in the previous video, uh, we would have shown you how to upload the uh, floor plans and perform uh, uh, indoor walk testing with the Ransel app. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, visualize and analyze those test results uh, using the Ransel dashboard. Uh, let me first uh, retrieve the test results on the dashboard. Uh, here is the sample test we had performed the other day. Uh, let me first show you the network type uh, in the floor. Uh, you can see that the, the network type seems to be all in 4G network. Uh, denoted by the green color coding. Uh, you could also uh, click, click on any data point to view uh, uh, data such as the operator, operator name, uh, cell ID, the data LT. You can see the network type LT here. The, you can see the RSRP, the RSRQ values as well. You can see the uh, ENBID values here. So now let me change it to the uh, one of the speed tests which we had performed. So let me go to the download test result. So now you can see that uh, most of the data points here is denoted in green. So the throughput values is uh, for green uh, denoted here is above 0.4 Mbps and for amber it is uh, 0.2 Mbps to 0. 39 Mbps. You can click on any of these data points to view the test results. So you can see that the bitrate uh, in MBPS is 0.46 Mbps at this uh, data point. Um, you could also uh, click on any of these another some of the data points. You can see that the bitrate is 0 0.3 Mbps. Here you can just uh, move along the uh, different data points here as well i have just shown you that uh, an indoor testing uh, example uh, so it, it was it was actually a very small area which i had uh, shown you but uh, you might be wondering if Ransel works on a much larger venue uh, to prove that uh, we have uh, actually conducted a few uh, tests on a, a large shopping mall in the uk uh, so this uh, shopping mall uh, it is maybe around uh, 20 to 30,000 square meter in size over 100 plus uh, shops are available there and it's quite a huge area uh, so we have just done a few tests there uh, you can see the coverage uh, this, uh, so this is the coverage view so you can see that uh, the coverage at the top portion of the shopping mall uh, remains uh, pretty good so it is denoted by the green and the amber data points so I, I can just click on one of those data points and i can see the uh, coverage that is minus 85 dbm and this lower area of the shopping mall uh, remains to be in the poor coverage zone uh, so so if I just click on a data point, you can see that the coverage is minus 118 dBm and some of these grey areas uh, which denotes there is no signal in that place. Another uh, interesting thing uh, which you can notice here is uh, this area of the shopping mall uh, is, a, is actually a, a large seating area. So. Uh, this seating area is where the shoppers uh, come after a heavy day of shopping and they would like to browse on uh, social media or watch some videos or they might want to uh, catch up a call with their uh, family or friends and there seems to be no signal in this area and uh, uh, this is a valuable information uh, for uh, operators to look into uh, this Similarly, uh, let me just change it to the 
network type view here you can see the network type uh, here most of the uh, networks remains to be in 4G but uh, at this particular area of the mall it, it seems to be uh, it seems to be in 2G so this uh, this is again a, a zone which uh, needs uh, to have an improvement in the uh, network so so this this is again a cause for concern similarly uh, so this is how you analyze the uh, uh, network te uh, network uh, tests with ransom thanks for watching